going to be doing a series on life hacks, core thinking, blueprint method. Today I'm going to talk just a few minutes about the weight of words, which I think is really important, especially in today's environment and just, you know, how people are communicating or not communicating, the lack of uh, being able to talk to each other uh, without a lot of stress and, and contention, I guess I could say. So um, we communicate in many different in many different forms. So we have face-to-face, uh, -face, we have text, Facebook, um, email, and you know, we can't always see the inflection of people's body language, their voice, and there's times that uh, we can misinterpret what people are saying. So I wanna help you understand the importance of the weight of words. Everything we, we do in life is just a series of conversations. So it's letters made up into words, made up into sentences. And then depending on how we uh, interpret and take that in, will uh, give us the outcome of what the experience will be. So how can we understand the weight of words? What I want to do is have you do a quick exercise. Words carry energy. So if you put a not so good thinking word in your left hand, and let's say anger. I think a lot of people are experiencing anger these days. And then think of a word that's opposite of anger, which could be joy, happiness, peace, um, uh, being at ease. And go ahead and put that in your right hand. And then hold both of those side by side on either side of your body and feel the weight. And if you need to close your eyes to really tune into that, um, you will feel a difference. Now, sometimes the more positive word will feel heavier. Sometimes the, ne the more negative word will feel heavier. So as you experience this, um, the one that, that feels heavy, if it's a positive word, then just imagine the, the less positive word, the negative word is, is leaving and shake it off your hand and just hold that positive word. If the negative word is heavy, Again, you still want to get rid of that. And just hold that positive word and take ownership of it. And, you know, we all grow up with the concept of don't say anything. If you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. And I think today we've all lost that um, concept because we tend to uh, attack and criticize and ridicule. And we're not having communication like we really need to. And understanding the weight of words maybe will help you when you're communicating with other people, even if you don't agree with them or you're angry or upset or think <clears throat> things aren't right or not fair. Consider the weight of words because there's always two sides to the coin. And if the word you're about to think, even thinking a word can uh, uh, be directed towards another person and they will feel it, it doesn't have to be spoken. Uh, even if it's typed and someone reads it in an email or in a text. So before you put that thought out into the universe and towards a person, um, consider the weight of it. Does it feel heavy? If it feels heavy, then I recommend uh, finding another word to replace it. And what you will find is as you focus more on the positive and the positive words and positive thinking. Uh, you can still have communication, stand in your power, stand in your truth and have better outcomes. So um, I'm going to say hi, Tony and hi, Susan and yay, yay. You can wave hi to me. And uh, if you have any comments or questions while I'm talking, please feel free to type that in. So, um, you know, everything in life has a cause and effect and has a, a beginning and an end. And what I want you to think about today as far as the weight of words is what's important, what's more important to you, how you feel, how the other person feels at the end of an experience or being right. And what I have learned over the years is 
it's not so much about being right. It's about what works, what's going to bring a positive outcome, and what is going to be the most beneficial and a win-win. And sometimes it's not going to always uh, end up in the way that we want or expect. And I want to just uh, diverge a few minutes because I, I read something the other day that reminds me how life unfolds in its own way where we may think we need to say or do something in order for something to happen but the universe has its own plan and i recently read a story about a gentleman and this is a true story it happened i think in the last week or so uh this gentleman was on a flight on an airplane and we know you know how stressed airplane rides can be these days and he was kicked off for whatever reason. So he ultimately had to find another flight. And he got on the flight. And I think when they got off, somebody in front of him uh, was having a seizure or a heart attack and collapsed. And he was one of the people that helped him and uh, until the paramedics could show up. So basically, he, he saved a person's life. Now, if he had resisted and not followed the path that he was cho that that was uh, put forth before him to get off that flight and go on another one, he may not have been able. To, uh, that gentleman may not life may not have been saved. So that's kind of an extreme example. But there's little miracles, little things that go on in our life that uh, that happen that um, that are guiding guiding us, and we we have to kind of drop into the heart and not be so attached to what we think we should be doing, saying, doing, especially if it's um, on that negative spectrum. And if you think of good thoughts and bad thoughts and the weight of words, uh, think of it on a scale and where on that scale is that thought or those words. So uh, practice, you know, practice putting those words in your hands practice uh, the pause of don't say or do anything that uh, could be a negative impact on someone else and think about um, if someone was doing that to you would you appreciate or value that or respect that so thank you for uh, hey Cindy <laughs> um, thank you for watching and I'll be doing my little life packs from time to time well I'll, I'll probably try to do them once a week but uh, you can visit my YouTube, subscribe if you haven't. I do have video life hacks, interviews, other cool stuff on there. And uh, for those of you who don't know, I do have an ebook on Amazon, uh, Embrace Five Principles for um, Five Principles of Core Thinking for Success. It is available in Kindle, and as of Sunday, it will be available in paperback. You can also visit our two websites, corethinkingblueprint.com and uh, otelluniverse.com. So um, thank you for listening and watching, and everybody have a wonderful day.